Inching closer to their goal of the Big South title, the Flames football team heads to South Carolina for a test on the road. Liberty visits Presbyterian College on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Momentum and history are on the side of the Flames. Liberty's won its last seven games against PC, and since Coach Turner Gill took over in 2012, the Flames are 13-2 in the month of November. The games that are in November, those are the ones you're going to remember, good or bad, uh, so to speak. And so we've had that kind of mantra just in my own way as been a coach here and talked about that. I mean, in November, man, that's really when it's time to bow up, man, and just go out here and, and win games. I mean, we can't afford to lose no more games in November. So I think that's where we get it from, man. We just know that we have to. We can't afford it. Liberty will host Charleston Southern on November 12th, and with a win against the Bucks, the Flames would lock up a conference title and a trip to the FCS playoffs. Overlooking a 2-6 and six Presbyterian team that's lost four of its last five games would be easy to do, but the Flames insist the Blue Hoes have their full attention. Right now, it's all about Presbyterian because, you know, we had to learn from that mistake in 2014 where we overlooked Charleston Southern for Coastal. And, uh, you know, the one thing that we're trying to do this week is just to get everybody to remember that we got to win this game first before we play the next one. I'm, in my opinion, I've not even thought about Charleston Southern or what they're doing. Presbyterian is no team to sleep on. And as we played against them last year, they kept a very close game against us. And they actually, I think, had the lead in the fourth quarter. You know, we just got to just execute our job because, you know, any team can lose any given Saturday. Liberty survived Presbyterian's upset bid last year, scoring two touchdowns in the final four minutes to win 20-13 at Williams Stadium. In that game, the Flames limited Blue Hose running back Darrell Bridges to just 64 yards rushing. Now a redshirt junior, Bridges recently passed the 2,000-yard rushing mark for his career and ranks fourth in the league for yards per game this year. Uh, Darrell Bridges is a dynamic running back. He uh, does a great job of hitting the hole. Um, I mean, in small spaces, we watch film, and for for his size, you wonder how did he get through uh, that A gap, that B gap. But that that's a credit to his great vision. On defense, Presbyterian has struggled overall, but the Blue Hose have done well on third down, limiting the opposition to just 31 percent. That's tops in the Big South. Scheme wise, the Blue Hose have a 4-2-5 look similar to what the Flames use. Yeah, you know, going against that defense all summer and during practice, it's it pretty much helps you, you know, just knowing exactly where they're going to be at, you know, just not knowing how fast and physical they are because we've been going against our defense. But, you know, it's always great to go against the same defense that you're going against uh, each week. Uh, they're very athletic and they get to the ball pretty well. Um, you know, just using their athleticism and uh, their, uh, their twitchiness um, on the uh, defensive side of the ball could uh, cause some problems, but we're prepared for it. It's not very often that footballs get behind them, which tells you that they preach, you know, make sure everything stays in front of you and rally to the football. You know, they, very, they are very, very disciplined, um, and they do fly to the football. And so when you play teams of that nature that have that kind of defense, you, you know, you got to play a couple games with them to kind of confuse them and throw them off. In their last two trips to Presbyterian College, the Flames have outscored the Blue Hose by a combined margin of 84-14. to However, this week, defensive coordinator Robert Wimberly was quick to say you can throw the records out the window. It's conference play. They know us. We know them. Anything can happen on any given Saturday. Saturday's kickoff at Bailey Memorial Stadium is set for 2 o'clock. The weather should be gorgeous. Highs in the upper 60s and plenty of sunshine, a stark contrast from two years ago when the Flames showed up to a snow-covered field at Bailey Memorial Stadium. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.